Open Data Licensing. People are constantly producing different types of data and the data they produce can be licensed to allow lots of exciting things to happen. By using Open Data Licensing, ordinary data can be turned into open data. Open data is data which is released in a way that encourages use. It has few legal restrictions, sometimes it has none at all. And it also has a technical format which supports reuse. Open data triggers exciting opportunities. It maximises on the investment you made in creating your data and it can allow the development of new and innovative services built around the data. But when data isn't licensed with clear information about how it can be used, its reuse becomes very difficult and opportunities for creative reuse are very limited. Developers might make data hacks, mashups and prototypes, but none of these things can happen if the licensing is restrictive because it's too risky legally. But think what is possible if data is licensed under an open data license. This film will show you how to open up your data in eight steps by choosing the right open data license so that the license suits your own circumstances and benefits as many people as possible. Your data may include data you've created yourself or data supplied to you by someone else which you wish to blend with your own data and then release under a single license. Step 1. Find out what kind of data you have to make sure that it is suitable for open data licensing. If your data is factual, for example if it's bibliographic data or scientific research data or metadata about resources or a statistical data set then it's probably suitable for open data licensing. However, if it's interpretive such as a descriptive record then an open content license such as a Creative Commons license may be more suitable. You can find out more about Creative Commons licenses by following the links at the end of this film. Step 2. If the data is not your own Find out where it came from. Data can come from many different places. It might be from a commercial supplier, a public sector data supplier or organisation, a clinical data supplier, or it could even be from a user of data who has added some information of their own to a public record. Step 3. Find out which permissions the data owner has granted to you, the user. This might be signalled by a licence symbol, or more likely by terms and conditions of use provided at the source of the data such as the website you got it from. Restrictions might include pre-existing licensing terms and other contractual terms that come with your data. Remember to look out for legal issues such as data protection issues, which might restrict the use and the reuse of the data. There may also be ethical issues surrounding the use of your data. For example, if it is clinical data about patients. Restrictions will affect the type of license that you are able to use. Step 4. You also need to think about policy issues which surround the data creation and reuse. Your organisation may have already thought about sustainability issues. For example, you may have policies about how organisational data is maintained after it is created or repurposed. Or there may be funding requirements governing how your data is licensed. <laughs> you can find out more about your organisation's readiness to use open data licensing by referring to the OER RPR support projects How Open Are You Wizard? Step 5. Once you know all about your data and you've assessed your organisation's attitudes to licensing, Find out about the different types of open data license available so that you can choose which one is right for you. There are links to more information about each of these licenses at the end of this film. Where developers are drawing together a lot of data, it can become unwieldy to carry the information about authorship with it. It becomes too complex to use. This is called the attribution stacking problem. You should be aware that reusers of your data might ask if you can waive that requirement. In that event, you might want to seek further advice. Step 6. Having got this far, you will have found out if there are any restrictions in your use of the data. 
If you're going to need permission from someone else to use the data, or there are any other types of restriction, such as data protection, you have three choices. You can go ahead and seek permission from the data owner. You can start all over again and use different data. Or you can take a risk managed approach. The OER IPR support risk management calculator will help you to start the risk assessment process and understand the types of factors which determine risks associated with reusing your data. You can find the link to the calculator at the end of this film. Step 7. Once you have chosen the license that is appropriate for you and your data, you need to make sure that the use of your data is optimised so that the resources you are creating are discoverable and can be reused. In step 8, now release your data and sit back and watch other data creators all over the world doing lots of lovely creative things with it. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to check out the links at the end of this film.